Good morning guys. So today I'm going to do a full day of eating and kind of day in the life and show you guys how I track my food and how I go about living a healthy lifestyle. So today I have a doctor's appointment in about 20 minutes. So I'm going to make a cup of coffee and then be on my way. Side note, cut the ponyo. I've heard a few reviews from people. They um, don't really hold up very well with thick hair. So, um, but my hair is like medium. It's like kind of thick. So just to um, let you guys know that if you did order one, it may not work for your hair. So yeah, time to make some coffee. So if you were paying attention to that piece of the uh, coffee making process, I didn't put the cup underneath the uh, the coffee maker when I hit brew. So there's coffee all over my counter, and I have to go to my doctor's appointment. So uh, looks like I'll be getting coffee from somewhere else. So water hack, um, so I'm gonna drink water instead of my coffee. Uh, these great value water flavorings are amazing. So I get the ones that don't say like energy and whatnot because I do take sometimes like pre-workout, I have an extra cup of coffee, so just kinda wanna make sure, but there are no calories in this. So I just squirt it in my water. I usually have like Southern Sweet Tea or Orange Blast or Fruit Punch and they just really help getting the amount of water down into your system. All right, so I just got back from the doctor's appointment and now I'm going to make coffee again. So yeah, we're gonna try this. So like my camera is really weird, so I have this like selfie option. And so like the screen flips out so I can see it. So I wanna look at the screen instead of looking at the camera. So now I'm like focused on you guys. So I usually have people ask me what vitamins to take, what's good for them, for optimal results. And these are my go-to. So I try to eat my greens, but if not, I um, take this fish oil and I uh, got DHA in it and then a super vitamin B complex vitamin D3 and the goat proteinum so I take all those every day and I stick to it for optimal health
So I just got a call from the pharmacy and my prescription is ready to be picked up. So we are going to go get that. So I also want to show you guys like my tripod. So I have a tripod and it goes up to four levels. And we're going to test this out today and see how it goes. And we're going to go for a quick, quick ride. Okay. Let's do this. percent of women say they wish their husbands were better at shopping than these. The new Air One, the worship edition for Adam Shop. Dr. Who's up? Triple Eight, nine four six two four seven one Triple Eight, the Air One. Or you can play from Air One merch. Air One, Air One, So I took Batman for a walk. We went around the block two times for the daily step target. I try to reach 10,000 steps per day, which is my goal. And then plus my workout. And then if I do have cardio for the day, um, I am doing the Spartan race, a sprint in July. So I have been trying to keep my cardio still steady because that is about five to six miles plus obstacles. And I'm trying not to die while I do that. So Bub here is worn out. So this is Batman. Say hi to the YouTubes. Hi. He is our baby and he gets really worn out. I like to go on very long walks with him, especially on my days off because when I'm off, I'm working from home, I'm on the computer, I'm on my phone a lot, so I try to stay active as much as possible on my days off just to keep myself moving and ready to rock and roll. So it is 10.40. You guys can see that. It's 10.42. And I still haven't had anything to eat, just my coffee and I am probably gonna go run some errands. My man's telling me my nails are looking a little funky, so I might go get my nails done and go get my eyebrows um, kind of trimmed up because um, I do have them microbladed. I went to Megan Hain in Brownsburg and she did a fabulous job. So if anyone does want to go get their eyebrows microbladed, this is no makeup whatsoever. I just have eyeliner and mascara on right now. So I do have, um, my eyebrows are microbladed because my hair is blonde, my skin, um, it's just, I, I look weird without eyebrows and my facial hair is just not the greatest. So that's why I got them microbladed and it just makes you feel more comfortable without having any makeup on as a female with light hair. So that is what I have going on right now. And so we're gonna go do that and I'll catch you later. So I go to Arch Eyebrows. You're an angle on. So we got some uh, fresh brows going on. She did a great job, so highly recommend. Okay, so we just left Best Buy and uh, I got some goodies because I needed to get some things for my video editing process. So, micro USB and adapter so I can edit my videos that I record on here on my phone so they have a little bit better quality. Um, I'm looking to get a downloadable software on my computer to edit um, to edit videos but I'm just not quite there yet. I don't know 
what's the best i love this app that i have on my phone it's called viva video and it's super user friendly so i'm not sure what i want to do as far as what to download on my computer um so just if you guys have any ideas just let me know uh, or any favorites that you have and then i will let you know what i choose to get so now i think we're gonna go home it's 11 35 i usually go and try to get some steps in not sure what i want to do yet might go to the gym and walk a little bit or walk around more outside we're not sure yet we'll see easy what's up guys we're back so i am about to cook lunch it is 11 58 and i'm back from kind of like running errands and i am going to show you guys what i'm gonna have for lunch it's my first meal. I typically always fast until like noon or one. And then if I'm working, um, because I don't eat on my shifts, I wait till I'm off work. So that's usually between like one and three o'clock. So right now I'm going to show you guys how I weigh my food out and kind of like what I'm eating. I'm a big snacker. I don't make like big meals um, for my foods. So this is just what I do. And I will show you what it is. Stay tuned. So yesterday I cooked up a bunch of veggies, which are here. Still getting used to this like camera thing, so yeah. And so I'm going to weigh those out. So what was in that? It's gonna be half of a red onion. I use two kind of like medium zucchinis and a container of mushrooms. So I'm going to do that and show you guys how I log it. <coughs> So, let be around here. I have my scale. And so I usually put my plate on top first and then I'm going to zero it out. And then I'm going to add the veggies momentarily. Get my life figured out here. There we go. We're a little, we're a little crooked there, fam. It's good. So we are still zeroed. Put all of it on there because veggies are life. Yep. There we go. So that is 527 grams. 527 grams of cooked veggies. So, in order to log, we're gonna go my fitness pal. That lunch. And then I ate the whole container of mushrooms. So I know that's one, so it's sliced mushrooms. That's the brand. And then I had 
red onion. So I got a half. So I'm going to go to See, it says like onion, red, raw, which I had half of it. So this time I'm logging it raw versus cooked. You can do it either way. So, so for example, yesterday I had the same thing. So we're gonna go to lunch. And then here you can see roasted zucchini, mushroom, and onion. And then I logged the cups, so two cups. So that's in combining the mushrooms and onion. So I had that. And then since that already logs mushroom, I'm gonna log half. And so that is what I'm having again today. And we're gonna hit yes. And so that is going to be 11 grams of protein right now, 19 carbs, and 1 gra 0.1 grams of fat. All of that. So I'm going to microwave that and then see how hungry I am afterwards because that is extremely filling. So I'm still hungry. So I ate those veggies and I did a little bit of work on Facebook. And so now I'm going to eat a little bit more. So here's how I'm gonna log what I'm eating next. I have the Chimobos, Chia, like 60 calories, nutrition facts, yep. Turn you around here so you're a little more good to go. So for each of these, it's 60 calories, two fat, and 12 carbs, and I'm going to have three of them. So how I log is I'm gonna go my fitness pal. And then there's a barcode scanner that works. Oh, that's not what I want. Go back. Hit the barcode. Thank you. And then just scan the barcode. And it's thinking. And we are logged. So I have one, so I'm gonna change that one, two, three, 180, 36 carbs, six fat, 15 protein. And check that out, fiber, seven grams. So that's a lot of fiber in like one sitting. That's 21 grams, so it's almost my daily intake but I like to get my fiber in early so that I'm more full to last me through the rest of the day. So we're gonna log that. And so then I have my remaining 130 carbs, 39 fat, and 73 protein. So I microwave these for four minutes and then they're crunchy like tortilla chips. Fun fact. So we just went on another walk and now we're gonna go to the chiropractor. Here we go. Hi, so I just got done with my chiropractic services. I go to Forest Chiropractor and Acupuncture. Right there, Forest Chiropractor in Brownsburg so if you guys need somewhere to go he is my go-to guy for my muscle recovery and chiropractic services go check him out 
what's up so I just went and got my nails filled and now I'm gonna go find Anthony and Batman because he said he was walking the dog so I'm not sure where but it's 4 17 and I am hungry so whenever I find them we get back inside and we'll see what we're gonna do for dinner Say hi! Hi! What's up, babe? Hola. How are you? I'm good. What are you doing? Just uh, showing the, the fam a full day of eating, day in the life, and how to track macros. You know, and get some things done. Lab and yeah, because we've been on four. Yeah. <coughs> so we've been on four or five laps today, and Batman's really tired. So. He loves being outside. I don't hates know. walking the steps. I don't know what we're going to do for dinner. We'll see. Got lots of macros. I might just make a protein shake right now. Not sure. So we'll see. We're gonna finish this walk and we will catch you later. Okay, so my next meal is gonna be half a bag of mixed green salads with 100 grams of cucumber. And then I'm doing Bolt House Farms Classic Ranch. If you don't have this in your life, you need it. And the serving is 30. Close enough. And then I'm going to make my famous protein shake. Here to come. Which has 200 grams of this, serving of this, serving of this, and one scoop of protein powder, and Ice filled up all the way up to almost the top. Blend it and you will see the results. So, bam! Look at all that. Whole thing. Cookie dough flavored chocolate smoothie. And look at him. He is just the greatest. Putting in an inversion table together for the health and recovery. We're in action! We have an inversion table. So the benefits of an inversion table is that it's going to release the pressure between your SI joints and your lower back and your hips. So as a bodybuilder, you are going to build up a whole bunch of pressure within your lower spine and your SI joints. So this is going to be a nice relief for your body and bless mom for purchasing this for us and honey for putting it together. So, more recovery things. They're beautiful because you gotta take care of your body, guys. And I just killed a 400 calorie workout with Courtney. I did not film it because we were sweating our butts off and there's a bunch of people in the gym. So, that is that. And we will see. Oh, I was gonna show you how to log what I logged earlier. Here we go because I don't think I logged it. All right, so, what I ate. So, so we're gonna go here, my fitness pal. It's my zucchini, see if I logged it. Okay, so I had the spring mix organic. So this is one serving and I had 0.75 of it. Go back. 
the Bull House Farms, sugar free syrup, which are my servings, cucumber, and 20 grams of the gold standard isolate. And that little salad and that shake, guys, 179 calories. And it filled me up. And then I add I had two more of those wraps. So I'm just gonna scroll up and it says nine grain with chia. I'm gonna change my serving size from three, number of servings to five. Select so it's 300. So I had those two. And we're just gonna click save. And this is what I have left for the rest of the day. All right. That G black though. No! Filet. Let go. What'd you order? Chicken sandwich. And? Fries. Because it fits your macros? Yes. Because you're on the lean gain, right? That's right. On the slow, steady gain. And then we got a diet or a Coke Zero. And then, oh, that's. Where's the salad? Right here. Yeah. Thanks. And then I have a large cone coming too. Alright. Okay. Thank you. So then I ordered because Chick-fil-A is the bomb. I ordered the grilled market salad with no dressing. And these are gonna be added different. So when you go to log your macros, these are not included. So make sure that you either include them if you're gonna eat them or don't include them. So this grilled market salad is 200 calories. There's chicken, strawberries, blue cheese. And then to log that, I'm gonna go to Fitness Pal, dinner, and then chick. And then I already have this typed in, like saved in my phone. So it's the grilled market salad fresh. And I, oh, thank you so much. And I had one, the other day I had two. So I had one container, so one. And then so it's 17 carbs, five fat, and 23 protein. So I'm gonna log that. And then that's what's gonna leave me. And then I also, yeah, I got a cone because cones are live. So we're gonna go to Chick. And this is the large. Is that the large? Close enough. So, Ice Dream Cone is 250. We're gonna log that. And there's my remaining macros for the rest of the day. Boom! Bon appetit! So, I am just gonna map out the rest of my night. So I'm going to add three bags of the 100 calorie kettle corn. And so that's gonna put me at minus 37 carbs, 13 fat and two protein, 133 calories left. So what I'm doing is I hit my protein goal for the day, which is the main important thing. And then I'm using my remainder calories and kind of marrying between the carbs and the fats. So remember that fats are nine calories per gram and that carbs are four calories per gram. So those are going to essentially then cancel out each other. So then my macros are going to be complete for the day. And this just goes to show that just because you do hit your calories, it, from your macros, your calories that my fitness pal does log are going to be different. Sometimes that they're negative, sometimes that they're in the positive still, because the FDA doesn't 100% regulate 
They give nutrition labels about a 20% margin of error for tracking. So just to kind of keep in mind. All right, guys. Have a good night. We'll see you later.